Hello everyone, Mike127 here, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So now that it's not raining, I can actually manage this climb a lot better. This route that I'm taking here looks a lot more manageable than the one I was taking before, where I had kind of, um... Uh, iffy slopes, and I was sliding down them. See, when I tried this before, it was raining. Let's grab... Actually, I'm not going to even bother with these. They're not even that good of gemstones. Yeah, last time we ran into the real good gemstones that uh, give you, that, you know, that are more sparkly and they give you better stuff. So, I wasted my iron hammer. I, I, I wouldn't say I wasted my iron hammer. That was a good use of it because I got a topaz from it. Which, again, I think that's 100 rupees. Oh, this might be tough. I don't think there's any way I'm going to make... No, 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 let's no, not even mess with that. Let's go kind of around this way. See, what, what I remember seeing is a path that kind of spirals around the mountain. So I want to keep kind of going around this way. If I can. Now, where can I go from here is the question. This looks kind of iffy. I should be able to make that. Shouldn't I? Let's just try to go diagonally if I can. You may notice that when you climb sideways, I think the stamina goes down at a slower rate. So that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm trying to go a little bit diagonally. And I, it looks like it's going to work out. So that's good. Just gonna get around here. Don't fall. Okay, good. Getting there. Question is, what's gonna be up there? What is that? Oh, the thorns. Okay, so that's what we're gonna have to deal with when we get up there. Thorns. Ooh, and is that is that a bacoblin? What is that? Or no, not bacoblin, but a moblin. I can tell it's pretty big. Yeah, I'm gonna try to uh, sneak up on this guy. Can I get a good weapon though? I have no weapons on me. It's good that I noticed I didn't have any weapons on me. I'm going to go ahead and do the Serpentine Sphere that I got in the last episode. Wait for him to turn around. Uh oh. He might walk too far for me. Well, I can do this. Oh, camera! Oh, boy. I just don't know when he's going to turn around. That's the thing. Okay, go nice and quietly. I'm not really... No! I ducked. That worked. That didn't work. And now I'm sliding all the way down the hill. That's excellent. Okay, well at least the Serpentine Sphere is strong enough to deal with them pretty well. That crouching's gonna get me. I wish there was a way that I could, like, make it, like, hold the crouch. This In this game, it's press the crouch. I don't... Let me see. It's gonna bother me. Options. Is there a press the crouch? Or, like, hold the crouch. That's what I would rather have, is hold the crouch. But I don't I don't see that on here. That's a shame, because I would really like to be able to hold the crouch. So I just hit that by accident all the time, and it really cripples me. And, you know, like I said before, I hate to make excuses, but that's what's going to get me killed a lot. It's that pressing to crouch, and maybe I just need to f come up with a different way to hold the controller, where my thumb isn't pressing down on the, on the thumbstick. I mean, it, it's it's my flaw. I'm not trying to say it's a, it's a flaw of the game. It's just something I'm not good about doing. Now, I do want to crouch on this guy. Actually, let's just forget him. He's too far away to be a, a bother to me. I'll eat one of my baked apples just to get up to full health. really all I have. I still need a couple more, and that's fine. We'll eat one more of those, and maybe an acorn that does quarter heart? No, screw it. Okay. Yeah, I think I... Actually, I used up all my acorns, and I never told you this, but uh, I used up my acorns to make my uh, tunic a different color. I'm now wearing a brown tunic. So, I don't know if you noticed that, but that um, if you did, then thank you for noticing that I changed my colors. Uh-oh. Oh, he saw me. Whatever. 
Yeah, these spears are pretty damn good. They're they're my favorite things to fight with because of, of their reach. Um, I want to finish that guy off. I kind of have a an OCD about that. Once I start fighting an enemy, I want to finish him off. But it don't look like we're gonna be able to do that. Oh, did he just did that just happen? Are you serious? I think that was a deer just running into the spikes like it's like nothing. And killed itself. I don't know what it was going through in its life to do that. I'm sorry. Like I, I'm, I'm legitimately sorry for that thing. I'm. I, don't know, I mean, I shouldn't joke about suicide. I shouldn't. But um, damn. That just kind of ruined this whole recording session. It did. It made me sad seeing that. I don't know. Let's just climb this. Oh, yeah, see, the thorns are what's going to make this climb difficult. See, I thought the thorns were going to make it difficult to get to the tower. It's not so much that. It's it's going to make the climb itself difficult. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. It didn't help that I did a big leap at the beginning of it, but I should still be okay. That platform off to the right should be reachable. And then really from there, I should be able to get to the top. As long as I get up to that one over on the right. It's going to be close, but I think I'll make it. Breathe. Get close to it. And then we're going to have to do a leap of faith. Oh. My god. I thought I was going to fall. And that probably would have just about killed me to fall, too. So I think I should be able to get to the top from here. Thing is, there's this platform to rest at over here, so I might as well stop at it. And it's very easy to get to. I can even do this and just kind of hop over to it. Okay, we'll rest. Now, I don't know, though, if going up this direction is the best way. It looks like it's fine. There's thorns on the left side, but not on the right side. Uh, actually, no, I can just go over here to this platform over on the right, so I can do some more leaps. Ooh, I'm kind of overdoing it there. Okay, let's not do it too much. I'm just impatient. So I so I, I do the leaps a lot, and it and a lot of times it will backfire and bite me in the butt. But uh, I can't do them here, because this, I wouldn't be able to make it if I did the leaps here. I mean, I might be able to do one leap. I mean, the leaps are just there to save time. Um, and then if you're at the very end of your wheel... There, you can save yourself with them by doing like a last ditch leap. But um, otherwise, to me, they're just, they seem to just to be able to get you to climb faster. That's really what the leaps are for, is to save time. Because the climbing is, again, very slow and tedious. So this is the Hatino Tower. And like I said I, somewhere in the last episode, I believe this is going to unlock a huge part of the map. Let's see. Do our little animation again. Alright, let's see how big that is. It's the biggest part of the map we've gotten so far. It's not as big as I thought it was, so. This is. Oh, I was going to see... I wanted to see the whole map. Let's look at the whole map. So, I mean, yeah, it was a pretty big chunk. It's definitely the biggest chunk we got so far. Actually, it is pretty big relevant to the other spots. Again, you can see the outlines of all of them. I would say... I think... I'm not even sure if the northeast... I think this is part of the map. This Or northwestern spot right here in the top corner. I think that is... That should be the biggest part of the map. There's some places that aren't actually part of the map that you're seeing on here, but uh, we're not going to mess around with that. Alright, uh, and actually I should stay on there, but I do want to know what direction Kakariko Village is from here. That, well, well, yeah, my objective is telling me to go to the Hatino Ancient Tech Lab, but what I believe I'm supposed to do is go to Kakariko, right? So I want to head, I just want to see what direction I want to head in, I'm not going to put any beacons down. Um... I want to go, what, northwest? So I want to go 
that way. I don't, I'm kind of curious, so and I'm a little bit concerned why they have the objective thing right there. Oh, that's locked mementos. Hmm. I wonder if I'm supposed to go there to trigger that side, that whole quest. Maybe, I, I remember it being at Impa, so let's just go to Impa. F fuck it, you know. So I'm going to go northwest. I may have to kind of go back and forth out of my map here. See if I'm facing the right direction. Now I'm facing straight west. Let's go. I kind of look out for these these guys on the edge of the towers. These little platforms. That takes me straight north almost. I want to go. I'm sorry. I'm wasting your time here. A little bit more this way. Right about there. Is that going to get me there? Eh, close enough. Okay. You kind of want to get your stuff going in the general direction. So, let's go ahead and fly. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to go with this. Again, I'm used to having two full stamina wheels. So, I might have to drop down. Ooh, we're going to a dangerous place here. I can tell by the holes in the, in the ground there. We might have to be fighting a Hinox. Do you want to fight a Hinox? I don't think I want to. I'll tease you with it. There's a Hinox down there, but I'm not going to fight him right now. I'm probably equipped enough to fight a Hinox. But... I don't know. I, I, I really want to have more health. <laughs> it's the thing. I don't know. Like, what kind of weapons do I really have? The best things to fight Hinoxes with are really good heavy weapons. And I do have a Traveler's Claymore, which is okay at this point in the game. But other than that, I don't know. I'll stick with the Serpentine Spear to tra travel with. I'm not going to fight the Hinox. Sorry to disappoint you. I'll leave it down there. I'm going to try to stay as high as I can. I do want to look out, though, for shrines. I, I've been here. You can tell I've been there. That's the Dueling Peaks table right there. So, and if I remember correctly, Hikari goes more in that direction. Here, I'm going to try to see if I can see any shrines. It'd be nice to do a shrine in this episode. Let's see if I can see anything. I should have looked before I jumped off the tower. That would have been a good way to kind of give a, more of a purpose in this episode. It's really, this is just going from point A to point B. But yes, there will be a lot of episodes like that where I'm just kind of traveling. I'm not really doing anything but traveling. But that's, you know, that is, again, the essence of this game. It's the exploration, getting around, getting from point A to point B, and figuring out your way around it. So, and so far, I've, I've had fun with it, and I, I don't, I hope it's not boring. It's, it's, it's not boring me. So, if it's not boring me, then hopefully it wouldn't be boring you. Um, if it is, let me know. But I guess there's nothing I can do about it, though. But that's the way I want to do this Let's Play. I just want to do a very pure playthrough of the game. Um, hmm. Let's see if I can kind of recognize Kakariko from here. There's a lot of, like, hills around it. So, I think I'm going to kind of stay on this route here. What I like to do is, I go to mountain ranges and I kind of just um, travel between the peaks of them. That keeps you all nice and high and really, you can cover a lot of ground that way. Have we ever seen Keese yet? This, is, this may be our first time we saw Keese. Yep, those are Keese. They'll fly right up to you and they die in one hit. And that's about it. <laughs> that, that rhymed. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, keys will come in a few different forms, like they have in other Zelda games. So it would be the fire keys, the ice keys, and there's also electric keys in this game, which I don't think we see anywhere else in the Zelda series. Maybe Skyward Sword had them? Because I remember there was a big part of the game that was electric, that had, like, electric-based enemies. So maybe Skyward Sword has electric keys, but other than that, I can't think of any other game that may have electric keys in the game. Quite a few games, though, have the fire keys and ice keys. Um... Yeah, we won't see any elemental keys for a little while. Uh, I should be going in the right direction. I just wish I could find some kind of shrine. I just feel like I need to find a shrine at this point. Oh, well. Well, if we climb over all this, we should be able to get to Kakariko. You have a goat up there. Doing exactly what a goat should be doing, staying on top of a mountain. That's kind of cool. 
I don't know like how they spawn these en these creatures, but it's just cool. I shot him around the butt. I have to get him. No, I got him. I thought I thought I needed one more hit to get him. The goats actually go down pretty easily, so that's nice. They give you regular raw meat. Let's see, where am I getting to? I'm gonna get to the top of this. So I can get some something to view. Not much going on over here. I think I hear a Hinox. And something's making noise. Yeah, no, that's a Hinox. Oh, shoot. Should I... Or should I use all my health and use all my items on it? I don't know. I'm just gonna... Fuck it. I'm doing it. Just because I was being a baby earlier, I'm gonna do it. So, go ahead and shoot him in the eye. Oh, boy. Reach the charger stamina. So you want to do with them is you want to shoot them in the eye to stun them. It's a pretty common thing you do to Zelda enemies is shoot them in the eye. I am not getting a good shot off. And I lost my... Oof. No, I lost my bow. I didn't lose my spear. Uh, let's... Shit. Here, pause the game. So I want to make sure I have a bow equipped. I, I never really figured out how to equip bows from outside the pause screen. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Let's change my weapon to while I'm at it. I'd rather have... Actually, you know what? The Serpentine Spear is fine. So get up close to him. I didn't really do anything to the guy. I actually didn't do too bad on him. See, what I want to do is I want to prevent him from grabbing any trees. So use those as weapons. Oh, come on. I have better aim than that, but buddy. Run. And now I'm climbing a tree. And getting behind him will always be good. He won't really pursue you much there. Uh-oh. I think he's going for something to use as a weapon. Come on. You, you have better aim than that, man. I can just go under him. That's typically how I fight him. If I if, if I miss them, I'll just go under them and attack him from behind. But watch out. He's going to jump up and do that. So, it's actually so far isn't so bad. But I want to get a good shot off on him. There you go. Like, going up forward like that helps. The Hinoxes, as you might have seen, they'll have um, different weapons attached to them. So you can, when they're sitting down on the ground, oh, and yeah, he's covering his eye. So yeah, eventually they'll start covering their eye up to protect them. So what I'm going to try to do is spin here. He's going to jump, so I'm going to get out of here. Oh, he got me. He got me with the shockwave. I don't think he got a direct hit on me, because that might have killed me. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Eat as many apples as I can. Still have four hearts. Ugh. Maybe I can. No, he's going for a tree. I do not want him to have that tree. This is not a smart idea. No, I gotta get out of here because if he makes one more leap on me, here. No, I gotta eat right now because if he if he does any attack on me, I'm dead. I know I have fairy, so that's nice. I mean, it's a good. Uh, Oh, man, there we go. <laughs> Speaking of the devil. Here, let's charge him. The nice thing to do with heavy weapons is to charge an enemy and then do like a charge attack with it. Not a charge attack, it's a spin attack, but like you charge towards the enemy and then and then use your weapon. Um, you know, since the heavy weapons, they usually take some time to use and they're very slow, but when you charge towards the enemy with them, you can do, you know, you, you get a quick attack in on it. Okay, maybe, hopefully two hits will be enough. There we go, with the Guardian Sword. I don't want to use that too much, because that's my strongest weapon right now. But, there you go. Yeah, but as I was saying, with the heavy weapons, I'll, I'll pull out this uh, axe to demonstrate. If you do a dash and then use it, you see it turns out to be a pretty quick attack, and then of course with the heavy weapons being much stronger than the other weapons, it it's a good thing to kind of start off a fight with. Um, so, there we go, we killed our first Hinox, it wasn't too bad, it did kind of kill me, I mean I need to use a fairy to recover from it, but yeah, you'll get tons of good stuff from Hinoxes, tons of good fruit really, I got a hearty durian which is very nice. I'm going to use that to cook with. I'm not going to eat that. As tempting as that may be with my health being 
you know, pretty low right now. I'm going to cook that and make something really good. Um, what else do I got to heal with? I want to heal with something. Uh, we'll just do this. We'll be getting more and more apples as we go. But yeah, uh, that was our first, I guess, you could call it a overworld boss battle. I, I think... They have some kind of official term for, like, a boss battle in the world, or a mini-boss battle. Yeah, there are... There, there, there are a variety of, um... Like, uh... Super enemies in this game, or super large enemies, that kind of almost... You know, they, 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 they kind of do feel like a boss battle, because as you notice, his, uh... His, uh... Health meter was up at the top of the screen, and it was displayed like you would see like a boss t battle be displayed and um, and of course you get a different kind of music going on with it and it just it, yeah it feels like a boss battle so there are a few different kinds of enemies that will act like that so it's not just Hinoxus you will find other large enemies like that that have large health meters and take a while to take down but yeah so I'm glad I did that Okay, let's please get to Kakariko before I end the video. Alright, let's... Fuck it, let's see where I'm at. I'm close. I just have to turn... Yeah, I know, I don't like using the map right now, but I kind of want to make some progress. Here we go. I just want to get to the village and maybe talk to uh, Impa and get what I wanted before I end this episode so I can move on. So, let's make haste. I again wasted time with the fight, but I'm glad I fought a Hinox. I just, I'm, it, it kind of... And, and it didn't go too badly. I did a pretty good job of it, in my opinion. So, um... You know, my self-esteem has been kind of bad lately with uh, the way I've been fighting. I haven't been doing a good job fighting. What's that? Oh, oh, that's the... That's the fairy fountain. So good, that tells me that I'm here. Huh, I thought that was something else. Nothing I can do with the fairy found right now. I can probably reload on fairies, which, you know what, I'm going to do that off screen. Alright, so I was about to say that uh, you can only carry so many fairies at once. I thought there was only going to be one fairy there because I used one up against the Hinox fight, but apparently there were three fairies there, so now I'm up to five. So maybe there isn't a limit. I thought there was a limit to how many fairies you can carry at once. Like, if you're carrying three, like, you know, like that's what I thought the limit was, was three, and it, as long as you had three fairies, they wouldn't be appearing by the fairy fountains, but apparently that's not the case. Um, I have five of them now, which is the most I think I've ever had at one time. Oop, there's, uh, now I want to do the cuckoo thing again, now that I've found one on top of the building. Mm. I'm, I'm so, uh, I'm almost done with the episode. Ugh. I'm gonna do it really quick. It's just Bob. Oh. Lizard, lizard, lizard! Oh, I had I had a prompt for it too and everything. Let me go up here really quick because I know there's a chicken up here. Um, yeah, this version of the Kaku Hunt. I mean, again, this is like a uh, this is kind of like a tribute to Ocarina of Time, where they redid this in that game's Kakariko Village. You do it again here, and you get a prize for it. Not a, as good of a prize, really, from what I remember. And drop it. And, ooh, that might not count, him being up there. That should count. Let me just make sure. Man, I always find something new to distract myself, but this is just Breath of the Wild in, you know, in a nutshell for you. Everything's going to distract you, and, you know, like your, like your goal that you have in mind will always be pushed back a little bit by something new that distracts you. Like, right now my goal I have in mind is meeting Impa again. But, of course, I saw some chickens and I couldn't help it. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll help him find it. There are ten total. How many are left, though? Ten total. There are five. Okay, there are five remaining. Okay, so that shouldn't be too bad. I found the most... The ones that are m more out of the way already. The one on top of the roof and the one on top of the hill. So, I should just be able to find them roaming around. There's one here. 
Ooh, that, that's an uh, important character right there that I might want to talk to as well. Again, we're getting distracted. Good job. Mm. Oh, I'm going to have to kind of hold off on that. I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember to talk to him next time. I just want to get this cuckoo thing done as fast as possible and then go talk to Impa. Alright, so, oops. Uh, yeah, you jump in. Yeah, I forgot about this. Jump in the guy's garden, he will kick you out. So, actually, if you just keep doing it, I think he'll give up on that and he'll just let you go in there anyway. But yeah, uh, there's a chicken in there, so I need that. So, I don't think there's a way that you just get him out. I think I have to just keep jumping in there and pissing the guy off. He might make me pay some money. Which may neglect the whole purpose of doing the cuckoo thing. You rascal. Can I do it one more time? I know eventually they'll just stop yelling at you. There we go. Okay. So what you do... I, I cut the footage out, but what you do is you get rid of all the trees in here. Wait. Is that right? No, maybe not. That's what I thought you were supposed to do. I blew up all... See, what I did is I threw bombs into the this garden here and blew up all her trees. And I thought that was going to stop her, stop her from stopping me from going in, but apparently that's not going to work. <sighs> yeah, there's no way. I don't know how to get it then. I, I don't think this is possible. Unless I need night time. Alright, it's night time, the old bag should be gone, and I can grab this sucker. That's what you're supposed to do, is make it night time. That was aggravating as all hell. Maybe the first time I did this, it was already night time. I mean, I don't know, I, I definitely remember that lady, and she's not letting you go in there, but I must have just got lucky the first time I did this. Okay, let's get this done quickly. I got four, no, three more I should be getting. Alright, so we have one towards the top. I guess the way I can have you, I can reference where this is, is just show me taking it back to the coop. I mean, we've, we've seen that enough, like the pin where we take these guys. So, um, right across from Impa's uh, house. Just keep going, and you'll find one up there. I'm going to go ahead and talk to the guy, see how many more I need. Alright, so I need two more. Alright, here's one in this shed, or shelter, whatever you would call it. And, let's see, how do I reference this? I mean, it's just a little, it's, it's actually, yeah, this is right next to the garden that that stupid old lady was. So, that's the reference point. Just keep going straight from the garden. You'll find another cuckoo underneath the shed. And we will just have one more to get here. The guy's not here anymore. Maybe because it's nighttime? Huh. I mean, the cuckoos will always stay there, so maybe I can pass time again. By the way, and I, I cut it out, but the way I pass time is I put a flint down by this pile of wood. It, it wasn't originally lit, but I put a flint down by the pile of wood and I used my axe to light a fire. I haven't really done any of that on screen yet. That's I guess that's why I decided to go ahead and point it out to you, but we'll be doing that quite a bit in the game, so there's no reason, you know, to show it right now. <sighs> Alright, it took me a while to find the last one. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to find this one. It's pretty much in broad sight. Um, trying to find a good reference point to show where it is. Actually, I think it might be right next to the damn... Uh, <laughs> Uh, pen is. It sure enough is. If you just go up from the pen and take a right, you'll find this chicken here. So, I don't know if I really helped anyone having trouble with this or not. As you can see, updated, uh, flown from the coop has been, uh, completed. So now I just have to talk to the guy, which actually he's standing up here in the nighttime. If I'm not mistaken. Ooh. Maybe not. No? No? Yeah, no, it's this guy, okay. Yeah, for every reason he moves out in front of Impa's house. So, now that you got everything, you talk to him, and he's gonna give you your reward, which is 50 rupees. Was it worth it? I really don't know. At this point in the game, I'll say yes. Later in the game, no. Not at all. 
So I feel dumb, but I, I just couldn't resist that because I guess because of nostalgia, you know, it's what you did in Ocarina of Time. So I wanted to do that, and I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the only thing I can tell you is I'm sorry, but I had to do it. Chickens, I, I, I can't, I can't resist chickens. Uh, hopefully, and hopefully I didn't. Uh, it's gonna be even worse if I came all this way and found out. No, oh, I still have to be over there. I still have to be over there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna warp over there. I just feel so dumb now. Okay, so what I had to do, I cut it out because it wasn't that interesting. Is I had to take a close-up picture of what's her name? Does it show what her name is? Well, screw it. I don't care. Of the little girl over here, Pura. So, um, yeah, that's how you triggered the uh, conversation that I'm supposed to have with Ampa. So I'm gonna cut back over there. All right, that is that's what we wanted. Okay. <laughs> Um, it says that's complete. I don't know if that's gonna bring up maybe the other part of that quest. Yeah, no, you'll show a picture and then she might tell you where it is. Oh no, you know what I'm supposed to do? I have to find one of these before. Ugh, so I'm still not done with this little quest that I'm trying to complete. So, well, you know what, we're gonna. We're, we're definitely going to be done here. So, yeah, I, I, I have to go find one of those. So, um, I will be doing that next time, I guess. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild, I'm actually going to talk to this gentleman here. I was, t I was talking about him earlier and how he's important. So, we're actually going to talk to him and we'll learn more um, about... Uh, we're actually going to get a clue to what one of these memories could be. So, thank you guys for bearing with me. I apologize for maybe a longer episode here and getting distracted by chickens. Um, I may even cut this into two episodes if it seems necessary, but we'll figure that out later. Future me will figure that out. So, yeah, thanks for bearing with me, and I will see you next time on Breath of the Wild. <laughs>